shout out, shout out, shout out to the lads. Oh, shout out to the lads. Shout, shout, shout out to the lads. Yo, lads, I'm starting my graffiti vlog tour. So graffiti tour, my vlog tour, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going down. Um, I'm actually gonna come up with a name for it. So don't worry about it. But um, make sure you get at my other channel. It's in the description below. All right, it's TT Chanel. That's where my graffiti tour is gonna be, so you guys can see New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, all the states that I'm that I'm close to. I'm, I'm gonna take you guys. All right. So subscribe for the vibe. You click the title. You read the page. Box cutter. Hood talk. Spanion. Let's urge. Let's urge. Do it, do it, mate. Hey, New Yan, New Yan, fucking New Who Talk. I listen here. This, 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 this. Yo, I love how he starts his stories off. <laughs> like, he just started, like, yeah, 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 Who Talk. This is a funny one, bro. This is when I nearly uh, killed myself. Literally never killed myself. Nearly killed myself. I don't know if I'm in focus or it's going blurry or something, CDC. This whole way around my arm, bro. Fucking, um, I was trying to cut someone's head off. One of the boys trying to cut his head off, bro. I'll tell you. Yo, what? And then he says it so effortlessly, like he said, like like he did nothing wrong. Yeah, man. And this why I hurt myself because you know I was trying to cut this dude head off. Like what? Yeah, this happened. I done that with box cutter. This the yarn. All right. So one day, bro, like down here. This is when I was um teenager, seventeen years old, uh two thousand and seventeen. I like I like I like how y'all say that shit. Seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, mate. Seventeen, mate. I can't wait to go to. Y'all ain't gonna lie, lads. America pissing me off. I'm over the girls here. You know what I mean? I'm am over them. I, I don't. They all just, ugh, you know what I mean? Um, I'm just over everything. I am. And maybe that's why I, when I'm when I'm in my room and I take my little journey, my little digital journey to Australia, I'm just calm, cool, and collective. Cause I love you guys for real. Like America, fucking. It's I'm. I'm it's like it's, it's it's starting to suck. Now they're trying to ban TikTok. I just, it, that's not even a, you know what I mean? That's not even the main thing. But that just goes to show you how they suck. Because it's like, it's so much other, like, important shit going on in the world. But they want to ban TikTok. So, whatever. Let's get back to the story. Three. We're down here, down Wollamaloo. Right behind us where it happened. But these events happen further up the street um, and other places, all right? So, started, I had this, this little fucking argument, right? Unimportant argument, one of the boys, one of the boys from um, up Waterloo, Redfern, all right? Woolamaloo, a couple suburbs away, same boys, but anyway, fucking, um, we mix in and out of each other. We're the same boys, Woolamaloo, Waterloo, Redfern, same boys. So I had, a young, I had an argument with this cunt, and um, I bashed him. I bashed him actually in this car park right here, actually, uh, coincidentally. And um, I said, don't come back down here, bro. I don't want to see you back down here. So I'm doing hood Rambo maneuvers on him. I said, I don't want to see you back down here. And... Um, Bah, so I bashed him, he's not, he got bashed, left. The next day, he's down here. So the next day, he's down here, and I see him walking past, like, behind us where camera can't see, you know? And I'm fucking uh, waiting to get on from matey, you know? And fucking, um, I see him, I go, dickhead, what are you doing here? He goes, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm weak. What do you mean? Do you actually tell me uh, to not come back here? I thought you were joking. I said, come here, bro. I ran up, boom, 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 boom. Hit him like three times. He had a red face, he goes like this, <laughs> silly cunt. Bro, I love you, bro. If you're watching this, I love you, bro. Like, I don't hate ya. I love you, brother. You're one of the brothers, but it's funny, bro. You know this is funny, lad. Anyway, he goes, oh, bro, look, bro. I don't, I don't know if he's going to find getting his head knocked off his shoulders by Spanion. Funny, Spanion. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I mean, it is a cool story to tell, right? Just imagine you telling you telling your friends about Spanion. They're like, oh, so what's your, give us a fun story about Spanion. Yo, one time, he punched me in the face three times. Like, it was back to back. It was funny. You're like, what? Like, what? Mom, look how red, he looked in the car, car, car window, and he goes, but look how red. Yo, lads, I'm single. Take a shot. I'm single again. You know what I mean? I broke up with that bitch. For real. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna disrespect on the internet, but it just it just wasn't it wasn't given what it was supposed to give. You feel me? It just wasn't given what it was supposed to give. Let's go. My face is you bash me. In. But we ain't gonna crash out though. You feel me? We just gonna move on. You know what I mean? We ain't gonna crash out. That's what we ain't gonna do. We're just gonna drink. As you can see, I'm still doing my videos. I literally just broke up with her like 30 minutes ago. You know what I mean? Like she just she dropped a bomb on me, and I and I broke up with her 30 minutes ago, and I'm back on stream we don't let shit stop the show ever and i'll stop bashing me. 
And I go, all right, bro, don't fucking come back down here, bro. I don't want you down below. So he didn't come back down again. Bro, it's like three days. He come back on the worst day. So before, since I was a little kid, bro, I loved playing with knives, bro. As well, well versed with. Yo, Spayon is just, I think he was born crazy. Like, no funny shit. Like, this lad is crazy. He just said, yeah, since I was a kid, I just loved playing with knives. Like, what? As a kid, I loved playing with Barbie dolls. I even loved playing with G.I. Joe. You know what I mean? So maybe I was just born gay. Who knows? But I actually like the action figures and stuff. Either way, knives. Like, what average kid is playing with knives? Oh, yeah, I know. Freddy Krueger, Jason, Chucky, you know, all the serial killers. <laughs> with knives, kitchen knives, meat cleavers, stuff like that. So one of the older brothers from here, one of the older boys I used to look up to, uh, still do look up to, um, he told me, he goes, bro, box cutters. Box cutters, bro. They're, they're light, keep them away, they're nice. You don't kill people with them, they're just slashes, you know? They're good, click them in, click them out. Worst comes to worst. Yo, that's a fact. I got one. I got, well, I have two, actually. So I have, I actually have multiple. <laughs> Cause you just yeah listen I'm you gotta I'm small I gotta protect myself but yeah I have I love me my box cutters like I got a pack of box cutters I go like this go like that I could put it in my mouth if I want to even though like I don't know how to do that my homegirl she been she spent three years in jail so she showed me how to put it in her mouth but like no I ain't trying to cut myself hell no but yeah I like box cutters so that's why I clicked this video too but shout out to Lack cause he put me onto it but yeah what's the box cutter say you, say you. speaking of which can you. Can you travel with a knife in Australia? Is that legal? Or you can't have no weapons at all? Like, am I legally allowed to bring a knife? I don't know, to just walk around, to, you know, for protection, you know? Say you stab some cunt, slash some cunt, and you get caught in the house, all right? Angie's in the house, Angie's gonna raid. What you do is you can break the box cut in pieces and flush it. You get rid of the evidence, bro. Wash your hands, eat one, no knife. Kitchen knives, you're fucked. They're big, they're heavy, they're hard to stash. Um, but fuck sense. So I started using box cutters anyway. I wasn't well versed in the box cutter. So anyway, fucking um, we're going up and fucking um, what was I gonna say? Fucking, I got a box cutter on me, but this can't, this can fucking pops back up, and then I'm rivied now. All right. So back then there was near how everyone takes zannies now, bro. Everyone's taking fucking zannies. Back then we used to all take rivies, bro. This it's worse than zannies. All right. Because you remember back then I was on drugs and rivies, and what could possibly be worse than zannies? Like, Zannies have you on one. No funny shit. Especially, not that I would know. Hard, bro. So we're on the gear. We're on the rivies, bro. When you're rivied, you're off your guts. You'll you kill any cunt. So, bro, he pops. Shit, that's me on a regular. Don't give me no reason to, to kill. I'm saying, don't get, listen, don't give me a reason to defend myself. That's my thing. Like, once you... Like, I just did a video about this situation in New York where the girl had to stab some girl because she was attacking her. And, you know, New York self-defense laws suck. So this girl is currently sitting in jail. And I feel bad because I would have did the same thing. Like, if you hit me and you're bigger than me, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not, I'm not even going to try to fight you. No, I'm not going to risk my, you hitting me right here. No, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot you. Okay? If I don't have a gun, then I'm going to stab you. I'm, it's, I'm not going to. It's like, what are we talking about? <laughs> back up i'm in this house i'm standing here talking to this cunt i look by i hear doing span like that i look to the left it's this cunt again four days ago i bashed him he's here for a third time bro and i'm just i seen this kind of cracked that bar so i ran over i ran over bro this before we knew what superman punches was and i just superman punched him in the face yo what what's a superman punch like is that a is that a thing <laughs> yo yo lads yo this might be gay. Well, I'm gay, so I can say it, right? But this might be gay for y'all. But y'all know what I mean. Look, um, y'all have a Spider-Man kiss? Like, you know, like the movie? I mean, he brought up he brought up the punt, so I brought up the hero, Spider-Man. Like, Spider-Man kiss, like when you and your girl like this and you. Hey, my thing up. I think I'm starting to miss the bitch. <laughs> I ain't gonna crash out, though. Because, bruh, not again. <laughs> bruh, but I was off my guts, bruh. So what I done is... I pulled out my box cutter and I fucking flicked it, bar. But I didn't open, I didn't flick the blade out that far. I flicked it far out, bar. So the whole blade's out and it's like flimsy, you know what I mean? And anyway, <laughs> it's in the box cutter. It started running, bar. This cunt is a fat cunt. Me, I'm a fit cunt, all right? But I was, I was rivied. So we're the same pace. Fat cunt, rivied cunt equals. Yo, I'm screaming. Same pace, right? Yo. <laughs> Dope head, 
regular cunt, same pay. I mean, regular fat cunt. So we're running up the fucking street, and bro, I'm running. I'm gonna stab this cunt now. He's been bashed twice. It's time to get fucking stabbed. So I'm running up the fucking street, and bro, like I caught him, all right? I caught him um, up the street here. This is why we are. Street bar, caught him. So I I'm grabbed him, and I ran behind. I grabbed him by the back of the collar, all right? I'm holding on the back of his collar, and we're running, bro. We're running at the same fucking pace like that. And bro, as I got the box cutter the whole way up, and I went, I went to go for his neck. I went to like rip his head off, bro, or rip his throat open, or whatever the fuck I was gonna do. I didn't, I didn't think about it. Whatever a box cutter will do, full pace at the neck of this cunt. This ain't the yarn where it breaks off, and this, that's a different yarn. A box cutter that cunt in the neck. This one I miss. This a better, this a funny yarn, bro. So fucking hum, bro. And as I went, bro, I'm holding him like this. Yo, why is he so violent? <laughs> I guess he got tired of the dude coming. He got tired of the lad coming around. You know what I mean? The lad just kept doing the most. And he's like, yo, what's good with you? I ain't going to lie, though. Like, you know you win fights. You lose some fights. I ain't never continue to want to get my ass beat. Like, that's, that's just weird to me. Yes, we're running full speed, remember? I'm lying. I'm lying. If you beat me up, I want to fight again. <laughs> but he don't even seem like he want to fight again. He just going there just to go there. Like, but, like that? And I full went full box cutter air bar, went for, for his head. And um, bruh, he went like defense mechanism. He curled up like that. He went like this, so he's running. And he went like this, boom, pulled like that, curled up like the block. And it See, and that's where he, see, I took self-defense class. Yeah, it cost me, I think it was about $100. Could, be, could have been roughly like 98 something. Either way, it was, I took $500. And in that class, this lady showed me, if somebody choking me, how to get out of it. Straight like that. I, I done been in situations where I'm dating girls and they, they try to put their hands on me, get a little cute. You know what I mean? And I'm sitting there like, you don't even know. <laughs> like, or some Kevin Hart shit. You don't even know what I'm trained to do. Like, don't even play with me. But, you know, you let them rock because you don't want to violate them because you know what you're capable of doing. But it's like, don't get too cute, baby girl. I pulled my arm forward into my own blade. It just went boom like that. See? If the dude would have took a self-defense class, he would have knew how to get out of that beforehand. My whole arm, bro. Look how big this guy is here already. It was all the way to here, all the way to here was just, bro, it looked like intestines. It, it blow up, you can go here, here. There was cords coming out, there was squirting everywhere, it was like I could see. Hey, yo, that's how I had shorty the other night, squirting. <laughs> White and purple shit in there, and bro, I'm like, remember I'm Zanid? Ah, <laughs> uh, rivid, rivid. And bro, so he ran off, he looked at me, he ran off. I turned around, bro, and two of the boys were there. <laughs> uh, I know, yeah, two of the boys and one of the older girls were there, all right? Old, old, older woman. And bro, and I walked back, bro, intestines hanging out my arm. And like the girl come up and like I was rivid, you know, so I don't care, bro, you know? And she seen it, bro, and she seen it and she started vomiting. And it made me trip out. I'm like, bro, fuck, what the fuck, my arm? <laughs> and the boys come over, one of the boys grabs me and goes, all right, bro, stay awake, stay awake. In my head, I can't even feel it, right? I'm thinking... Relax, like I'm sweet, but they're going on. Yeah, because he off that, yeah. What, how you say it? The ribby? The ribby? The, the ribby, right? He off that ribby. Like it's the end of the world, you know? Um, <laughs> this is how much of a junkie I was. Listen, because obviously when I was um, 17 years old, I was bad on the gear. <laughs> and one of the boys that was there, he was a gear dealer. All right? So I thought, you know what? Our junk, listen to this mad junkie mind state, but manipulation. I thought, you know what? I'm going to bung this on to get free gear out of this cunt. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going like that. When I see it, I clicked on. I go, oh, my arm, my arm, like that, you know? I go, bro, I need gear, I need gear. <laughs> he goes, yeah, I'll get your gear, bro. So anyway, we're coming. My intestine's hanging out my arm. I'm No way. At what point do you, I don't know. I think if, if I'm at that point with stuff, I'm bleeding and stuff, my, the buzz I had going to go away. I'm no longer drunk. I'm no longer smack, whatever you want to call it. We call it smack, lit, whatever. I'm no longer none of that. Once I see, what you ever, yo, let me tell you a quick story. It's going to be quick, quick, real quick. I got into a situation with a girl, of course. She going off and all that. She hit me. I'm like, all right, all right. You know, you know, she mad. Little, little taps. And it wasn't like, you know what I mean? Little taps. The moment she hit me one time, I got a little scratch. I said, all right, okay, enough is enough now. In reality, you know what I mean? Stop playing with me. Like, DV ain't cool. Sitting there on the thing, and they're holding the foil, and they're lighting the spots for me. I just got a, a note, twenty dollar note in my mouth. I'm breathing the spots. Ambulance is coming, bro. Blood everywhere. Probably nearly died, but I didn't even care. 
it's a blood everywhere and fucking um yo that's how i be when you wanna yo you ever been yeah i call it punch on i'm gonna say punch on because i'm talking to the lads shout out to the lads you ever been on a punch on and like you just getting hit so you don't feel nothing but you like all right enough is enough now i'm starting to feel it a little bit like you know what i mean like yeah i don't know like that ever happened to you like the first few hits you don't feel but after a while you're like all right i gotta snap out of it this shit's starting to hurt mm. Ambulance comes, bro. I'm in the middle of an azul, bro. Halfway in the middle of an azul. Ambulance, mate, he comes, he goes. Wait, what's an azul? Y'all gotta let me know. What's an azul? So I can know what I'm what I'm listening to. What's a, I should have I did this live. I don't be knowing when I'm going live, lads. <sighs> but what are you giving him? And they say, mate, his arms, like, fucking blood coming out of it. Like, intestines coming out. But he needs this. And the ambulance driver comes up. He goes, bro, if you give him that, I'm going to narcane him. One of the boys goes, that fucking narcane him. Look at his arm, you fucking dog. Anyway, the ambulance driver kicks the, kicks the fucking gear. I just remember, anyway, I get taken away. Anyway, next thing, I'm up at St. Vincent Hospital. Um, all sorts of fucking surgeries and that. So I'm waiting, bro, like, and um, I'm hanging my guts out, right? I've got big heroin addiction. I'm hanging my guts out. All these cunts are giving me is morphine. Fucking this and that. Nothing, bro. That's nothing. You can't feel that shit when you're on the gear. And um, so, bro, they come up and fucking, um, they're giving me that. I'm hanging my guts out. I'm raging. I mean, here, one, one fucking arm ripped open because it took ages for surgery, bro. And I got cords coming out, collecting juice and putting juice in my arm, sucking juice out of my arm. And, um, bro, I fucking, I'm raging. I'm in here stressing this and that. So they end up putting me on the methadone. So they end up giving me morphine, methadone, oxy fucking coton, this and that. It's still not enough. I'm shooting up like thousand dollars a day, smoking thousand dollars a day plus. So, bro, what I done is, <laughs> um, I was sitting there for like three days. I couldn't cop it. I was full hanging the fuck out, bro. And um, this is why I ended up having to get a security guard to permanently watch me, because no security guards, you know. So what I done, bro? I pulled out as many cords as I could, but one of the cords, one of these bags, putting juice, it went right into my flesh, bro, like this thick cord collecting juice and um i couldn't get that out bruh so i got all the other cords out and this one bag bruh <laughs> i end up just like getting the bag off the drip and holding it in one hand or i end up putting it in my arm so then this arm i couldn't move bruh you know so i'm have this one bag it's got this cord lead. yo and at no point he is feeling this insane getting into this big open wound that's just got bandages open wound and i'm in a gown no undies bruh bare ass i didn't even know bruh i'm so stoned you know what i mean in the gown, bare ass, bruh. I escaped. I full left the hospital like that. So no way. So he's running down the street, bare ass. I am screaming, bro. So I went down. I'm at St. Vincent's with Jack King's Cross. I got my bag of juice, my arm like this, gown, bum hanging out. I'm walking the streets, lad. I'm thinking I'm off. You know what I went to do? I went to go for a search. I went to go for a search like this. I go, I'm going for a search. I'm gonna go make money. I'm gonna go get gear, and I'll come back up and I'll stick the cords back in me, bro. That's how I'm thinking, lad. Full urchin, lad. Full fucking OJ Sydney City, fucking Adelaide. You know what I mean? And anyway, so I'm here. I am. <laughs> Walk to the first convenience store, and I fucking go and I rack a torch. But these cunts must have spun out. Imagine me ass hanging out, bag of juice under my arm, and fucking um, I went and racked the torch so I can go for a search. <laughs> so next minute, torch in my hand, gown, anus hanging out, fucking um, fucking bag of juice, and I'm walking through the cross, walk down Wollamaloo, and I got down here, bro, and fucking I said, and I seen all the boys, and they're like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm in a gown, bro. Remember how I'm looking? They're like, what the fuck are you doing? What's going on? And I'm trying to throw off to them. I said, bro, they let me out for a bunga, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a search and get some ego. I'll go back up there, <laughs> and uh, there was one of the, the the older boys and his missus. They looked at me like, the, the young cunts my age, just like, oh, whatever, let's go for a search. The old, the, the, the brother goes like, he goes, bro, that's, they're not going to let you out like that. No fucking way. They, bro, they got me, because like, bro, I, don't, I can imagine how I looked. So they got me, they stuck me in the back of their car, and they drove me back up there. I was fucking dirty, but they gave me ego. They gave me ego, so I was happy. But they drove me up there, so I couldn't go for a search, bro. And, um, bro, I got back there, the, the people in the hospital like, where have you been, where have you been? So I've got a security guard now watching me, all right? So I'm two days away from surgery. I had to wait, I had to wait five days for surgery, lad. And um, Wow, five days? And that sounds like that's a serious injury. What's going on with your hospitals, lads? So I'm walking like this. Yeah, I got my arm like this. I think I'm full disabled, bro. I'm full acting out the disabled. So fucking, um, they got my fucking, um, they got my fucking, um, so I'm there, bro, fucking, uh, I can't see it now. Who bro? Fuck me, dead. Um, 
But so they got security. Yeah, I, f I had a feeling that whoever was, was saying whatever they were saying was going to throw him off, like, because you got to be on your P's and Q's. But it don't look like he's in the hood, though. But sit there, you got to be on your P's and Q's. You got to watch me. So I'm like, you know, when you're waiting for surgery, you can't eat. You can't eat, bro. I mean, if you want to go for surgery. And um, what I've done, bro, security guard, I'm still trying to escape and go for a search. This security guard, he's following me everywhere, bro. He's following me everywhere. So what I'm trying to do, <laughs> I get in my little trolley and I'm trying to, like, do maneuvers on him. Walk around the elevator and I press the elevator and he's watching me, bro. And he's like, just follow me. <laughs> and fucking, I'm, I'm like, what are you looking at, you fucking cunt? You fucking dog. Fuck off, cunt. He's like, I'm not saying anything. Listen. <laughs> I'm going, bro, stop following me. And there's two elevators on either side. I try to do the maneuver on him. I try to press one and then pretend I'm walking off and then like quickly go back when it opens. <laughs> he knew what I was doing, bro. I was stone cunt. I thought I had all the tricks, but this cunt's just watching me. But I was starving now, bro. You know, I was stone, but I was starving. One day before surgery, you know what happened? What the fuck did I do? I walked around. I went into a rant. Started abusing the security guard, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, Yo, then mind you, this is the next day. So is you, the drug still in him or this is just a normal spin? Yeah, just bugging out. He's following me around from a distance. <laughs> I went around, bro, and I'm breaking in in the hospital at like one in the morning. I'm breaking into doors. And, bro, I'm trying to find food. <laughs> He's giving me warnings and saying, shut the fuck up, cunt. And, bro, I broke into this one door. I'm pressure popping doors. I'm like, <laughs> like that, and doors are opening. And I found it like a dessert cupboard, bro. I found this thing, trolleys and desserts. I sat in there. <laughs> I haven't eaten for four days, lad. I sat in there, bro. I'm just munching custards and fruits and that, like that. And he's going, you're not supposed to be eating, blah, blah, blah. And I'm over here, bro. Shut up, can't I fucking bash up. This and that. Anyway, they found out that I ate. I had to wait another fucking four or five days for surgery. Was, Yo, I'm screaming. Now you got to starve again. I was in there cunt for 10 days. There, yeah, 10 days, 10 days, 10 days. Fucking, um, yeah, bro, and fucking 10 days I was in there. They'd done the surgery, and, uh, bro, I nearly died. I nearly died. You can imagine. Look, main arteries, intestines, fucking half my, half my liver come out, my bowels, everything. But fucking, um, yeah, bro, so fucking, it took me, I was supposed to go uh, physiotherapy to get the function back. My arm wouldn't move. Yo, that lad walking mad nosy. Keep it, keep it pushing. Keep it up the block, my boy. My arm wouldn't move but for like six months because I was supposed to go physio and that. my arm was dead, full dead. Even to today, all here, my, this left arm's weak and it has no feeling on the inside, all nerve damage. So because I was supposed to go physio, but anyway, I got out. So I'm in a cast, strapped around my head. And um, like two weeks later, I stabbed another cunt. Uh, maybe three weeks later, I stabbed another cunt, ended up going to jail uh, and, um, or boys' homes. I got arrested for three different stabbings at one time, but I beat them. But anyway, the point is that I didn't get to do physio um, because I ended up going to fucking jail, uh, boys' homes. And um, then I got out, got back on the gear. So I walked around for six months in, in boys' homes or in jail and coming out searching, like making money with a dead arm, bro. I was real scared. And I, this happened in 2003. I remember in 2006, three years later, my um, arm wasn't even strong enough that if there's a pole, and I grabbed the pole and I leaned back. You know, you lean back like that. I couldn't even lean back, like stand up straight. I couldn't even do that. It was just so weak. But I ended up getting stronger and stronger. And by 2009, I could do a chin up. It took six years for me to do a chin up. Um, but yeah, fucking. Uh, Yo, that's crazy. I'm surprised he can even do that with no feeling. Like, damn. That's the fucking yarn, though. That's what happens, bro. When you're on reviews trying to cut people's heads off, you got to be careful, bro, if they're moving. In one foul swoop, bro, you can take your own arm off. You get to right. That's exact. Yo, that is insane. That's karma, though. <laughs> that's karma because he was trying to hurt the lad and, and the person itself, man. That was an interesting story. Y'all send me some more. What else they got? I like, what else they got? What else, man, y'all got?